Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti and you are watching my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In today's video, let's learn about another fat soluble vitamin that is vitamin E. At the end of this session, students shall be able to describe vitamin E with respect to dietary sources, RDA, various biochemical functions and deficiency manifestations. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. It is also known as tocopherol. And the word tocopherol, it was derived from the Greek word tokos, which means childbirth. Feros means to bear and OL stands for alcohol. Initial studies of induced vitamin E deficiency in laboratory animals resulted in infertility. And that's why it is also known as anti-infertility vitamin. It is the most potent natural antioxidant. This is the structure of vitamin E that is alpha tocopherol. Tocopherols are derivative of 6 hydroxy chromine ring because here hydroxyl group is attached at the 6th position in the chromine ring and it is a tocol ring with 3 units of isoprenoid side chain and this hydroxyl group can donate hydrogen to reduce free radicals and the antioxidant property of the vitamin E is due to this chromine ring. And it has a hydrophobic side chain which allows for penetration into biological membrane. It has various forms alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Alpha tocopherol it is called as 5,7,8 trimethyl tocol because the methyl group is attached at the 5, 7 and 8 position. The alpha tocopherol is the predominant form of tocopherol and it has widest distribution and it is the biologically most potent form. Beta tocopherol 5,8 dimethyl tocol it has two methyl group at 5 and 8 position. Then gamma tocopherol 7,8 dimethyl tocol so here methyl group present at 7 and 8 position and delta tocopherol only one methyl group is present at 8, eight position. So all the tocopherols alpha, beta, gamma and delta they differ only in the position and number of methyl group attached to this chromine ring. Coming to the dietary sources of vitamin E, vitamin E can be derived from both plant and animal sources and vegetable oils are the rich sources of vitamin E. They are olive oil, coconut oil, wheat germ oil, cotton seed oil, sunflower, safflower oil and also we can get it from the animal sources like eggs, meat, butter, milk is the poor source and fish liver oil does not contain vitamin E. What is recommended dietary allowance for vitamin E in adults? The requirement is 15 mg per day. In children, it is 11 mg per day. In pregnancy, it is 15 mg per day. And lactation, 19 mg per day. 15 mg of vitamin E is equal to 33 international units of vitamin E. And requirement increases with higher intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Vitamin E being the fat soluble vitamin, it is absorbed along with other fat soluble vitamins and it needs uh, missiles that is bile salts are required for missile formation and that's why the absorption of vitamin E requires bile salts for its uptake in the intestinal cells and efficient absorption occurs in the jejunum. Once it is taken up inside the intestinal cell, it is integrated in the chylomicrons for its transport. It is transported with chylomicrons and other fat soluble vitamin through the lymphatics then into circulation and from the circulation it reaches liver. Through the liver it goes to the organs where it is stored for example the major side is uh, liver muscle and adipose tissue is the major side it can also be stored in the muscle and the vitamin E is transported with the help of VLDL it is transported with the help of VLDL and later with the LDL and it reaches to peripheral tissues. So the digestion absorption and transport is similar to other fat soluble vitamins. The normal blood level of tocopherol is 1 mg per deciliter and during the catabolism of vitamin E the chromin ring and side chain are oxidized and excreted in the bile after conjugation with glucuronic acid. So this is about the metabolism of vitamin E. 
Now let's see the various biochemical functions of vitamin E. Vitamin E is the most potent biological antioxidant. It is the chain breaking antioxidant and it is the cell membrane antioxidant. And many functions of vitamin E they are because of uh, its natural antioxidant property. For example, it maintains cell membrane integrity. And also the RBC membrane integrity is maintained because of its antioxidant role and it prevents the hemolysis of RBC by free radicals like hydrogen peroxide. It has anti-atherogenic effect. It prevents the formation of oxidized LDL which has a role in atherosclerosis. Hence vitamin E is said to have anti-atherogenic effect. Anti-inflammatory action. It acts as an anti-inflammatory agent because it inhibits the formation of prostaglandins. Along with vitamin A, C, beta carotene this vitamin e delays the cataract formation aging process as well as cancer what is the role of this vitamin e in infertility it is it preserves and maintains the germinal epithelium of gonads and hence essential for normal reproduction so it is found that decreased level of vitamin e they are related with the infertility now, what is the role in immunity? Vitamin E improves the cellular immunity and it has hepatoprotective role. It protects the liver from being damaged by toxic compounds like carbon tetrachloride. We know that vitamin E is potent natural antioxidant vitamin. It is a chain breaking and peroxy radical scavenging antioxidant. It protects most lipophilic molecules susceptible to the oxidant injury such as polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFA and phospholipids having polyunsaturated fatty acid present in cell membrane, lipoprotein, RBC, mitochondrial membrane, retina, etc. So when these polyunsaturated fatty acids they are subjected to the oxidant injury by free radical there is formation of lipid peroxy radical and this uh, initiates the lipid peroxidation and further uh, through propagation there is free radical chain reaction formation. The action of vitamin E is to stop or uh, break this chain of uh, lipid peroxidation. So how does it stop it? It converts this lipid peroxy radical into hydroxy peroxy radical by donating its hydrogen and this tocopherol uh, it becomes in this reaction it uh, itself becomes phenoxy radical which is relatively more stable and this phenoxy radical uh, it has two fates and first fate is it is reduced by vitamin C back to its original form and the oxidized vitamin C is maintained in the reduced form through glutathione and NADPH which we get uh, from the HMP pathway. So this is the first fate and in the second fate the phenoxy radical may undergo a series of rearrangement involving oxidation of chromane ring and side chain and this is then conjugated with the glucuronic acid and excreted. So this is how vitamin E acts as a uh, chain breaking antioxidant and uh, to bring it back to its uh, original form vitamin C is utilized here that's why both vitamin C and vitamin E they have antioxidant role and it is the first line of defense against lipid peroxidation and protects cell membrane from free radical attack. What is the relationship of vitamin E with selenium? Both have sparing effect on each other. So because selenium is a component of glutathione peroxidase and thus function as an antioxidant. So there are three uh, enzymes in the second line of defense. First is superoxide dismutase which converts superoxide radical into hydrogen peroxide and catalase uh, converts it into water. And in this reaction glutathione peroxidase has a role uh, where the reduced glutathione uh, is oxidized. And this glutathione peroxidase it has selenium in it and that's why it uh, selenium complements the antioxidant effect of uh, vitamin E as second line of defense and it reduces the requirement of vitamin E in the diet. So that's why it is said that selenium has a sparing effect on vitamin E and vice versa and it also has synergistic effect.
Vitamin E deficiency is rare in humans because it is widely available in food and in a normal adult the body vitamin E stores can meet the requirement for several months to few years and if uh, it occurs exclusively in people who have some inherited or acquired condition that can uh, impair their ability to uh, absorb the vitamin and the conditions can be cystic fibrosis short bowel syndrome bile duct obst uh, obstruction and it can also occur in those who cannot absorb dietary fat like ma fat mal absorption and if they have the rare disorder of fat metabolism like a beta lipoproteinemia the deficiency manifestations include muscle weakness vision problem decreased immunity hemolytic anemia retrolenter fibroplasia peripheral neuropathy and myopathy poor nerve conduction spino cerebellar ataxia and this vitamin e deficiency causes uh, hemolytic anemia due to the oxidative damage to red blood cell because we know that vitamin e maintains the rbc membrane integrity uh, due to its antioxidant function so if it is deficient it leads to hemolytic anemia the assessment of vitamin e deficiency can be done by estimating the vitamin e level and the normal level is 0.5 to 1 mg per deciliter and vitamin e is the least toxic fat soluble vitamin in today's video so far we have seen the dietary sources rda chemistry part and biochemical functions and deficiency manifestations and its causes uh, of vitamin e now we will see some mcqs related to vitamin e so the first mcq is vitamin e reduces the requirement of iron zinc selenium or magnesium so we know that vitamin e has sparing effect on selenium so the answer is selenium structure of vitamin e contains chromin ring beta iron ring thiazole ring naphthoquinone ring so the answer here is chromin ring because vitamin e has chromin ring the vitamin that is termed as cell scavenger is is it vitamin a d e or k it is vitamin e so the answer is c that is vitamin e the vitamin which is more effective at high oxygen concentration is it is beta carotene tocopherol ascorbate or calcitriol beta carotene is effective at low oxygen concentration but tocopherol it is effective at normal and high oxygen concentration as an antioxidant so here the answer is b dietary requirements of vitamin e is elevated with the increased consumption of polyunsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids or cholesterol or proteins so it is increased with the increased consumption of polyunsaturated fatty acid because they are prone or they are subjected to the oxidant injury by free radicals and that's why if uh, we consume more polyunsaturated fatty acid we have to increase the requirement of uh, or intake of vitamin e all of the following statements about vitamin e are correct except beta carotene complements the antioxidant property of vitamin e yes both are antioxidant vitamin e is a chain breaking antioxidant correct vitamin e and selenium act synergetically to reduce the risk of lipid peroxidation it is also true vitamin e is highly effective at low oxygen concentration this is false because it is highly effective at high oxygen concentration and that's why the answer is d Vitamin E is responsible for all of the following except first it prevents lipid peroxidation in biological membrane this is correct statement it prevents rbc from hemolysis correct because it maintains rbc integrity it is considered to be anti sterility vitamin this statement is also correct it favors the oxidation of low density lipoproteins uh, this is false because it prevents the oxidation of low density lipoprotein because of its antioxidant property so here the answer is d if you find the content on this channel useful please subscribe to this channel like and share the videos and help this channel to grow thank you for watching and happy learning